Hello, this is Sean the Barber, bringing you a flat top video with Tim. So this is my version of a flat top. Let's get to it. So first things, we're gonna wet it down and get a bit of control. Let the moisture get into the hair so it makes it a bit more flexible so you can uh, move it and manipulate it later on. Now Tim, he has a number one on the sides, so not too short, not a skin fade. As you can see already, I've got the hair standing up a little bit more, so it wants to, it, I could just slowly manipulate it with a hairdryer to get it to stand up nicely. Here we go. So straight away, first things first, let's put a number two on it. But when you do the two, when you do the two, it goes straight up. Um, and it'll help you on later when you take out a lot of the bulk around here for doing the flat top later. So the number two goes in and goes straight up. Get rid of all that bulk on the sides here. Which is unwanted because when if you left too much here, when you look in the mirror later, the flat top's gonna round off too much. And there's a big difference between taking it too high and losing the corners, and that's a brush top where it's flat on top and then it rounds on the sides. As Tim likes a flat top, so the corners are all high and square and it makes it a better flat top. So just going over it, but as you can see, the clippers are going straight up, removing any hair, unwanted hair, and starting to square the head straight away for the flat top. Quite high at the crown, um, you wouldn't normally take a number two this high, but uh, it definitely helps by losing the, a lot on the crown because you don't want it to stand up above the back or come out too high. But a lot of that as well, a lot of this hair around the short sides here will remove when we use the clipper over the comb. But what you don't want to do is start off with a number one, take it too high, dip it so it goes into the scalp and then comes away from it. Because another thing is when you look in the mirror, it'll, it'll dip in and come away as you want it all nice and flush. So that's where the two helps. So always start with, if you, even if you're doing a skin frayed flat top, I'd recommend doing a two first before you start knocking into the one. And then just go back round as you're going back. Just make sure you haven't missed any. Checking all over. And as you can see, Tim's hair grows in this direction. So I'm going at it at this direction, not straight up. I'll miss a load if I did that. So going in at this direction, but straight up, you know, no rolling of the clippers because you don't want to make a dent in it because it's hard to get rid of later on with the comb. The next thing, we'll put the number one on and shade the one into the two. So there was no point cutting any of this hair because that's going to be a number one now. So straight onto the one and a half, going in at the same angle, but pulling out a little bit sooner so that way I'm not cutting into these hairs here, which I'm going to use as part of the flat top. So not quite as high as the two, but, um, but on the other hand, you don't want to do it too low, because when you look in the mirror, it will look like a mushroom going around it, where if it's too low, you'll have a dip between the one and the two, and then, a, then not a nice shade. And don't worry too much if you leave a few hairs around here. You're going to you're knock them out when you do your half and your naught, just to blend it down perfectly. Just because you're doing a flat top, doesn't mean, say, you want to forget about the sides. A lot of people focus so much on the top, they forget that uh, 
the sides have still got to be finished correctly. So same on this side. Yeah, after we've done the uh, number two, then we go down to a half around the edges, which is going to taper it all down nicely as you would any haircut. So just flipping the half in and getting rid of all the loose ends, making sure there's no long hairs, as you would with any haircut, a nice little taper into the neck and around the ears. One thing I personally don't like to see is when um, big wheel arches where they just, people just line it off around the ears. I like to see it all nice and shaded down. And plus it lasts a little bit longer. So it doesn't need, you know, them hairs, if you, if you wheel arch it, they grow back so fast. By this weekend, they'll have hairs hanging over his ears again. And you're going from the half down to the north now. Just flicking it in nice and softly. You don't want to go into that half too much. And then just making sure you get all the loose hairs off. Yeah, and then just round the ears, tidying up the, uh, the front so it looks nice and smart and getting rid of all the loose hairs, making sure it's all nice and clean. Not going into the hairline at all, because I've already shaded that down with a half and a naught. So, um, and I don't like sea lines in the collar. So what I do is I just put the clippers in, or the trimmers, and then ever so slightly just flick it out, so there's no lines there. Gives it a nice finish. A nice natural taper. And same on this side. Making sure you get all the loose ones behind the ear. Right, so let's get to the best bit. Let's do the top. Now, as we do the top, get it nice and wet. That water's already set in, so you can see I can manipulate the hair. I've got already got that nice shade coming straight up from the sides, um, which is starting the flat top. And then let's get it all nice and wet, and then we're going to blow dry into position. And what you can use with somebody like Tim's hair is very thick hair, very coarse, and it just wants to lay forward. It doesn't really want to stand up as much. So what you can do is just put a little bit of spray on it, which I do every time. A little bit of spray on it, or something like that, or a little bit of wax even. So we put a drop of wax on it just to pull it back. But as you put the wax on, just a tiny, tiny bit. As you put the wax on, you're pulling it backwards. You're not laying it forwards. So it's all coming back, and you can see that wax has already started to kick in and pull this hair up, so it's making it easier to cut. Which isn't gonna clog in the clippers, but as you can see, without even blow drying it yet, I've got all them ones I want that was flat down, standing up, so I'm starting to manipulate the hair to get it going into the place that I want it. What I see in a lot of the videos is when they blow dry the hair, they blow dry it straight up, so it folds into the head like that. Now that, that might look good after it's been cut, but the problem with that is, is that the corners are then too long and you've got separation between the two. I know you don't want a brush top and you want a flat top, but you can still keep the length. Now if Tim's going to stand at home and blow dry his own hair, he'd blow dry it from forward backwards. He wouldn't be able to hold the hair dryer here and blow dry it upwards to get it into place, to fold it into place. So when I'm doing one of these, what I picture is where is he gonna hold the hair dryer to blow dry it into place? And he's gonna blow dry it from the front and back, upwards in this sort of angle. So that's exactly what I'll do to make it easier for when he goes to style in it later. So I'm blow drying the hair where he would hold the comb or the brush.
as you can see, I'm using a comb to, to hold the hair. Some people, uh, you can fold it using a comb to put it into place, but get them ones that don't want to stand in. So the comb goes in, wraps over, always have a nice tight comb. The comb goes in, folds over, and then you can see the hairs laying back, even on the top where it's very short. So I'm folding it all over and then getting it all going backwards. The hair drying part of this haircut is so important to get it all nice and get it all standing up. Because the last thing you want is for a few hairs at the bottom there to be standing up on their own or laying flat. Tim goes home, washes it, and all of a sudden there's a load of long ones that are unwanted. Yeah, so always take your time with this bit. Don't rush it, because it makes everything else so much easier if you get this part right. And there we go, we have all the hair standing up in a nice flat top. If you haven't caught it quite right, always wet it down and start again. It doesn't take too long. There we go, we've got all the hair standing up nicely so we can uh, cut the top. Thanks for watching. If that helped you in any way, please let me know. Like I said in the last video, it's the only reason I do these videos. Um, so I love seeing the comments where it's, you know, people are saying, oh, that's helped out and uh, see you soon. Ciao.